Hi, BookTube. Here's an early September book haul. I got my ticket for the long way round. I went into Barnes & Noble last night for one book. I walked out with four and a Barnes & Noble membership. So I technically got them all on sale. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. I'm so impulsive when it comes to books and also sewing stuff because, and you can see, this is my studio behind me. It's all packed up because I have to move soon, but I ha it's been packed up for about the past nine months because I haven't had a chance to set it up. And the only reason I say that is because I actually have another channel on YouTube where I do sewing tutorials and I haven't done one in about a year because everything's been packed up, so. Anyway, so I bought four books at Barnes & Noble, and then I also bought one at a local bookstore. This was a used bookstore, and I bought this book simply because I think it's really important to support local businesses, and especially local bookstores, which will go out of business if people don't buy their books. So I went into this uh, store, and I asked the owner if she had read Margaret Atwood's Orcs and Crake. And she said, yes, she had. Had I read The Handmaid's Tale? And I said, no, I hadn't. I have it to read. And I've seen the movie. She asked me if I had read this book. It's called When She Woke. It's by Hilary Jordan. And it's another dystopian reminiscent of The Handmaid's Tale. It's also kind of reminiscent of uh, The Scarlet Letter, which is, I think, by Nathaniel Hawthorne. But in this book, when you commit a crime and are convicted, you get chromed, which means your skin is genetically altered to be a certain color, and then you are not sent to prison. You are released into the general population, you know, to be ostracized. And so this is about a woman who um, has an abortion, and she is then chromed red, which is for murder, and she has to survive in society. Well, obviously, the society is largely religious, which is like Handmaid's Tale, and so it tackles some social issues. So I thought it sounded really intriguing, so I went ahead and bought it, and thus supported my local bookstore. Then I bought four books at Barnes & Noble. I'm going to start with this one, which is The Returned by Jason Mott. Okay, two reasons I bought this. Well, actually, three. Um, it's on sale. It's autographed and I'm halfway through it. This author, Jason Mott, lives pretty close to Wilmington, North Carolina, and um, he went to UNCW. It's about dead people returning, and which is kind of the cover. I love the cover because if you can see, actually, if I do this, it's a boy standing in a field. And when you do that, isn't that cool? That was really inventive on the part of the publishers. And then I picked up Slated by Terry Terry. Now this book, it was sort of impulsive. I've seen it, but it's about memory loss or having your memory erased. That's probably my second favorite idea or genre right now. Anyway, it's about a girl who gets her memory erased and it's been on my Goodreads wish list. So yeah, got that again on sale. Not that I have to make apologies for that, because this is BookTube where we all buy too many books for, yeah, whatever. Then I bought Starters by Alyssa Price. This um, also has been on my wish list for Goodreads. This is about a virus which has swept uh, the nation, and it's kind of wiped out everybody between the ages of like 20 and I don't know, like 50. So technology has progressed to where the older population can, can now inhabit the bodies of the younger population for a price. So this is about a girl who is in a desperate situation trying to survive uh, economically. And so she hires herself out to be inhabited by an older person. So yeah, great premise, huh? That's not available on audio, and I don't think Slated is either. So another reason why I bought these two books. And the book I actually went into Barnes & Noble to buy was All Our Yesterdays. It's by Kristen Terrell, and I'm about halfway through it. It's not available on audio, which is why I wanted it in uh, print. And it's about time travel, and it's time travel done really well. So that's my September book haul. Hopefully, if you see another book haul, from me, it will be thrift store books. Yeah, my wallet will like that. <laughs> my bank account will like that. Uh, so that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. When I'm gone, when I'm gone, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair. You're gonna miss me everywhere. Oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Yeah, no I'm guarantees gone. after that.